Hey everybody, it's me, Son Robert Han, and this is Let's Play Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth Episode 11. And in the last episode, we went through a crap load of cutscenes. Seriously. D seriously, why is there that many cutscenes in this game? Well, whatever. Anyways, let's log out. Huh, <sighs> man. Yesterday, I had a pretty bad day at work, because, well, yesterday I wasn't even supposed to work, it was supposed to be my day off, but I got called in, and being the nice guy that I am, I went in, of course. Of course, I always go in whenever they call me in, because I want more money. Wait, what the heck? Oh, never mind. I just, uh, just thought I saw something. Hey, what's up? Well, we're finally ready for that thing. I'll wait for you at Makanu's Chaos Gate, so invite me when you're ready. P.S. About the incident in, town, in the town square, could you not tell Pi about it? Please? Pretty please? <laughs> so anyways, yesterday I got called in to work when I wasn't supposed to work, and I still haven't checked these. I really need to do that. So let's log into the world and go do that thing that we promised that we would do. Which is, learn how to control our avatar. Or summon it, or something. So anyways, uh, well there's a cutscene coming up, so I'm just gonna stop talking for now. Or at least I think. Yep, I was right. Oh, you're finally here. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are... Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. What? The old hag's coming too? Well, because there's no guarantee we won't come across any danger. Huh. You coming? Hurry up and invite me already. Nice ass shot. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Um... So, what? We got new mail right after we logged out, or logged in, I mean. What the heck? Well, I'm not gonna check it. I'm gonna keep playing. So, I have to invite them into my party first. Um, so anyways, yesterday I wasn't even supposed to work, and yeah, I got called in. So I went into work because, well, frankly, I need the hours. And, um, wait. Oh, yeah, here it is. Huh, strange. I wonder why it doesn't have a check mark next to it. So anyways, um, I went in yesterday and I just, uh, I had a whole bunch of trouble. Alright, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like? Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen, we didn't come here to fight you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the Epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <sighs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep. That's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. 
By activating their data-altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? <laughs> You've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Okay, now that that long cutscene is done, I can finally start talking again. Uh, well... I did say that this game is very, very, very cutscene heavy. Um, man. Um, I don't believe we've seen this enemy, so I'm going to show it. And I hit it right in its butt. Ooh, yikes. These things are kind of tough at our level. Oh, man. Okay, never mind. I take that back. They aren't tough at our current level. Anyways, we took those guys out easily. Man, Poon. Ugh, Poon. Who the heck is Poon? I meant to say Pi and Coon. Pi and Coon are a way higher level than um than I am. So, uh, jeez, I don't really have much to talk about. Ah, uh, they're coming after us. Yeah, enemies out in the field will come after you. Man, my dog's at my door and she wants out. No, sassy. Shh. Hush, baby. Eh. Yeah, her name is Sassy. Oh, she's this cute white dog. And we haven't seen these guys either. These are goblin mages. So, they're pretty much like goblins, except for they can use magic. And if they try and cast a spell on you, you can actually run away from the spell until it wears out. But... But... Oh no. Ooh, let's get it with the Rengeki Gale Blade. Oh my gosh. Sassy! Stop it! My dog is just crying. Come here, Wasis. Uh. Man, these guys are tougher than I thought they would be. Uh. I'm already up to nine minutes. Are you kidding me? Okay. I don't think there's any other new enemies besides these guys. So after this fight, I'm gonna start cutting out the rest of the fights. Okay? Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. That is a very overused internet reference. Oh man, I was close to getting a level up. Huh. It sounded like somebody was calling my name. I pray to God not, because... I don't want to end this recording this soon, because I just started. I just started recording, and I was wanting to record a couple of episodes before I had to stop. What's needed to conjure an avatar? Damn, I don't get it. 
Oh, you'll get it all right. Let's look at the map. Um, there's a treasure over there. Man, I am so not used to controlling the uh, camera. What's in this tree? Ooh, it's some choo uh, chim chims, not choo choos. What the heck? Earlier today, I was playing Metroid Prime and Legend of Zelda: The Skyward Sword. Yeah, I have a Wii and a GameCube. Um, we could act. You could actually get the treasures without encountering the enemies, but I'm going to fight these enemies anyways. There's only two of them, I think. Man, I'm so not used to controlling this. Anyway, so I'm going to fight these guys and cut out the battle. Okay, so see ya soon. And I'm back. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I wasn't talking there. Oh, and we got a fairy's orb. How pointless. Um, anyways, but in that last battle, I actually built up enough, um morale to do a uh, awakening so here's what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to show you how to ch uh, change the awakening I'm gonna change it to demon awakening which is the uh, magic awakening I think earlier on I called it the mages awakening so what I'm going to do is the next fight I get into I'm going to oh let's go down here and get this treasure chest uh, shoot 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 uh, okay fine okay fine I'm Okay, I'll show it. Here's the Demon's Awakening. Or the Demon Awakening, I mean. Tassy, stop crying. Tap X. That's all you have to do is just tap X and it'll deal damage to them. Yeah. That is why I don't like it. Ooh. Get him. I'm going to have to end this video soon so I can let my dog out of my room. Although, watch. Watch. As soon as I let my dog out of my room, she's going to be crying to be let back in. Sass! Stop it! Aw, oh, man. I killed him before I could get a Rengeki. Oh, well. Okay. That battle is over, and we have gotten experience. Oh, yeah. Duh. I forgot to mention. I leveled up. Sass! Uh, stop it! Oh my gosh, you're such a crybaby. Oh. Huh. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of crap in this area. Ah, da 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 da. I'm gonna cut this battle out. And I'm back. And we got a simple necklace. Heh. <laughs> that was very simple. Oh well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Chim here, please. Oink. Man, we've already got 99 Chim spheres. See? This this is why I say that the Chim uh the Chim Kicker campaign is so easy. Anyway, so we're going to launch him off and I'm up to 14 minutes, practically 15 minutes, but since I'm going to cut out some of those battles, which should be around a minute or two, um get back here. This is Slipfner. Slipfner, the one that I was talking about that you'll be encountering a lot. If I could kick him, get back here. How am I having so much trouble kicking this guy? Now See? Slipfner. I praise thee. I shall grant thee my powers for a limited time. Yes. Slipfner will assist you in the next five battles. Literally, all that means is that as soon as you get into a battle, he'll deal uh, damage to the enemies. So... I think I'm going to end this video off so that I can let my annoying dog out of my room and start the next video. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Who makes it really awesome, but not as awesome as Charmander, because Charmander have enough fire in their tails to <laughs>